Hi guys, so we're going to read 1 Timothy chapter 1. We're going to uh, read verses 9 and 10. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the glorious, verse 11, gospel of the blessed God, uh, which was committed to my trust. So the law, Jesus, when Jesus came, even though he happened to come to into a time period in Israel when, when they were under the law, Jesus did not have to follow the law. Like Jesus was never under the law. The law was not for Jesus, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Jesus, his righteousness is far above and beyond anything the law could ever utter. But the law was for the lawless and disobedience, people who have not placed their faith and trust in Christ the Jesus. So, like the law, like for today, if you have not placed your faith and trust in Jesus, if you do not believe on Jesus and his finished redemptive work on the cross, then you are held accountable to the law and everybody's, nobody has kept the law. I don't care how good you are. Nobody's kept the law. So, the law was for man, not for Jesus. So the law was to be a magnifying glass to magnify the diagnosis of sin within mankind to point them to Christ. But Christ himself was never under the law. Does that make sense? Verse nine, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Jesus was, his righteousness was above and beyond. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to kind of point that out when people say, well, Jesus kept the law for us because we couldn't keep it ourselves. No, Jesus was just righteous and perfect. Jesus was just who he was, which is far above and beyond the law. I mean, Jesus didn't have to keep the law because Jesus was just already God. He was already perfect. He didn't have to keep the law. He just is. He's God. So, um, but for those of us who have not, placed our faith and trust in Jesus and on his finished redemptive work on the cross, we are held to the standard of the law. We are considered lawless. We are considered ungodly. We are unholy, profane for those of us who have not trusted in Christ, murderers of fathers, murderers of mothers. We are manslayers. We're whoremongers. We are liars, stealers. Um, we are full of drunkenness. I mean, because if you, you've, if anybody has offended in one part of the law, they've offended in all parts of the law, okay? So it's either law or grace. And as for me and myself and I, I choose grace in Jesus and in his finished redemptive work on the cross. A, admit that you're a sinner in need of a savior. B, believe on Jesus and in his finished redemptive work on the cross. And C, call on Jesus to save you. But really, it's just all about the B. Just believe on Jesus and you will be saved today. Once saved, always saved. Amen.